In health news, researchers at UPMC are hoping they've developed a new tool in the fight to treat asthma. This is a nasal swab that can detect different types of the lung disease. Jessica Gway found out how it works. Most of us know asthma makes it hard for people to breathe, but there are actually three types of asthma with different causes at the molecular level. Some people get asthma when they exercise. Some people have asthma related to work. Some people have asthma with other allergic diseases, and we call that atopic asthma. While there are treatments for one type, they don't work as well for the others. The drug most commonly used for asthma is inhaled steroids, uh, you know, for the general population. And we know, we and others have shown that those medications don't work as well in people who have obesity and asthma. To identify a patient's type of asthma and the best treatment, doctors have to do a test called a bronchoscopy, which has to be done under anesthesia. That means it's expensive and comes with risk, especially for kids. So Dr. Juan Carlos Celadon and his lab at UPMC wanted to find a better way. With this nasal swab, we believe we can identify three distinct endotypes or subtypes of asthma. He has two hopes for the nasal swab test, that it will help identify the environmental triggers and causes for different types of asthma, and that it will lead to new treatments. So our hope is you can use this test, identify, for instance, people with T17 high asthma, and now you can test new treatments for those people and not everybody. In the U.S., a disproportionate number of kids with asthma are black and Puerto Rican. Dr. Celadon says despite this, they're left out of research studies. That wasn't the case with his study. They have the most asthma, they have the worst asthma, and yet they were often not included in research studies. So for us, it's also very rewarding, you know, to include these populations and give them, you know, their due, right? There are still more studies to be done with a swab, but he hopes in a few years, parents will be able to get their kids tested for their asthma types with just a simple swab at the pediatrician's office. This is, this is the future. Um, it will take a little bit more work, but I think we're getting there. Jess Cookway, KDKA TV News.